with the classic event of balancing. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. The third event of the Marble Sports Game Season 3 will be balancing, an event featured in both prior years to this one. You can see silently perched on top the tower next to me, and we're ready to get this event underway. The championship leaders, the Greenies, are going to kick us off. Let's see how they do. They bump into each other, they're going to get a finisher. That looks to be a good run. 360. I believe that's better than most, if not all, of the runs from last season already. So the Greenies' domination isn't continuing. Well, there are 99 clear of the flamethrowers, the current record holders right now. As our host, the Dodgers, line up on the grid, what can they do? And they're going to impact. They're going to get a couple finishers, not finishers, a couple good points all. 302, respectable, in the middle right now. Here come the Bronze Tigers, and they're going to get another marble down there, 309. And let's see. We have Balls of Fire up now, looking for a redemptive balancing run after their abysmal Season 2 balancing run. Let's see what they have in... Oh. Oh. Well. Somehow that was even worse than their season two balancing run. This is this is a strategy event in addition to a team event. You have to plan out the impacts. Try and make it as far as possible using what you can. You can use different formations to try and stay on long enough as the Moonlight Titans do that. With three down at the end, 395, they take the lead. A perfect repli a replication of the Citron Sprinter strategy from last year, and the Moonlight Titans take the lead. Dethroning the Greenies' gold streak. Halfway through, though, and they're still in second, so the Greenies still in a good position, but they will not be winning their third goal. Our defending champions up now, the Blueberry Buttons, and they're gonna have a good run. 339 launches them onto the provisional podium in third, and the Thunder Gods are going to look to better that, and they're not going to. 295. Looks like if you break 300, you're going to set yourself up nicely, I think. And we have the Blue Moons up now. Did not have a good run last season, and do not have a good run here, although they are still well clear of Balls of Fire. How about True Blue now? Barely escaped relegation last season, and they're going to have a good run here with a 310. I believe that is Provisional 4th. Go now with our final four runners with the Sterling Swarm, the two-time podium finisher, and they're nearly gonna get a finisher here with a 252 though, the rest were abysmal. Our season one champion, Team Galactic, and they're not gonna have a good run. 244. With two runners to go now, that does guarantee the Moonlight Titans will have a podium. If the Greenies can survive this run, they will have a podium too. And the rainbows, oh it's not going to happen. The rainbows will not challenge for the podium, meaning the greenies have gone back to back to back. The only one who can dethrone them for a bronze now is the Valiant Vanillas, and they will not do it. 290, the greenies will get silver behind the Moonlight Titans with their first gold. The blueberry buttons pick up a well-needed bronze for the defending champions, who were sitting down in 15th before this. True blue in fourth, and the bronze tigers continue their hot streak with a fifth place finish. But it's the Moonlight Titans celebrating on top today, dethroning the Greenies and stopping them from winning their third straight goal. But this does mean the Greenies will have a huge lead in the championship. They're going to have 70 points out of a maximum possible 75. And the Greenies have now guaranteed themselves to hold the lead after the next event. They have a 33 point lead. That is huge right now. The Moonlight Titans vault 9 spots up to second above the Rainbows, Bronze Tigers, and our host, the Dodgers. The Stingers inherit last place as we head to Event 4 next, Archery. We'll see you then.